In this video, I'm reviewing and applying eyeshadows from Essence. Hi everyone, I'm Glory B from Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. This eyeshadow brand um, came to my attention just I don't have a ton of time. I <laughs> think YouTubers have lots of time, but I don't. But this one came to my attention just even on the Ulta website. They have several different palettes. So I thought I'd try three. They're only $10. So I thought, all right, what the heck? They look really pretty in the photos. They don't carry them in my local store, but um, I want to try them out and I'll be doing a demo on my own eyes to show you how I came up with this look. Now the thing is, as beautiful as they look here, and they even look similar to something that you might see in like Too Faced opening up chocolate bar, but they are not very pigmented. So it takes a lot of work to get a deep color. With that said, I would say this line would be great for somebody who hasn't worn eyeshadow in a long time and wants to try again, but doesn't like all the intense colors that are out there that are pigmented. You put a little bit on and it looks like, you know, you're ready to go out for the evening, um, but not to work <laughs> or to school. These would also be great if um, you're in my age category, which is over 50, I'm actually 60, and you want to um, just experiment a little bit without looking ridiculous with lots of bright or dark colors on your lids. So um, I found these to be very pretty. Um, and I'm just opening up a few here. The other thing it might be good for too is if you know any teenage girls who are just starting out, these would be some fun, beautiful palettes to start out that looks a lot more grown up than some of the um, cheaper drugstore brands that are just set in plastic. And it would just give a really present, pretty presentation. But again, they're not intense colors. They don't go on really dark. Even these that look dark really don't. So the ones that I have today, I have Salute Paris, which is more of the pinks and browns. And as I'll show later, um, even this color right here, I thought that would be a great transition color right above the crease, but it's so light that it's not. And I ended up mixing these two colors, which you'll see in the next, in about a minute or less. This is Ola Rio. This one's really lovely too, has a few more shimmers. I like this gold shimmer and this deeper shimmer. Um, this light whitish color um, is really nice as well as a base color. And then I bought G'day Sydney. Now this one um, has some nice, again, what would seem like good transition colors, but they're very light. And then some more intense, I say intense, green and teal, but they're still not very dark. Now, I'm not wearing teal today, so I didn't choose these. But let's go to the next segment where I have my face makeup on, but not my eye makeup, and we'll show you how I applied this look. All right, I have most of my makeup on. I have some eyeliner and the only thing I'm missing is eyeshadow and mascara. So um, opening all these up today and considering what I'm wearing, I think, I'm think i thinking that this palette, the G'day Sydney, is a little too warmish, and the two blue colors are actually more um, aqua or teal. So um, I'm dressed for winter. I've got this wintry sweater on, but it's got pinks and purples and blues. So I do like some of the colors in this one though, the Salute Paris. Now the thing is this one, which originally I thought it would be a good transition shade, it's actually very, very light. So I'm going to also dip into this one, the Ola Rio 
for um, transition shades. And you have to really play with these and because some of them that don't look like shimmer really are. And I actually like how light this white is. So I'm going to start with that with a fairly good size brush and um, make sure that you can see this eye. And I'm going to put it all over even though, just for a base, even though I'm going to cover a lot of this with other color. So even off the bat, you can probably see that it's not very pigmented. Then as I look at these and try to decide on a transition shade, I'm going to go with this one in the Ola Rio, this one right here. It's kind of a light brown, um, but I, again, because they're not all that pigmented, I think it'll be fine. Might be a little warm for what I'm doing. So, um, Another thing I could have done would have been, hang on, before I blend these, because I already know that this one that looks like a good transition shade isn't, I could have blended it together with that. In fact, I might do that right now. I'm just going to blend some of this out since it's not really intense. <laughs> you can get away with changing your mind. So I'm going to dip into these two. Yeah, this other one for a transition shade, I normally wouldn't do that because it's a lot darker. But you can see it's still fairly light. Um, so I'm going into the light shade, the dark shade, the light shade, the dark shade, the light. One, two, three, four, five. And then trying to see with my older eyes what I'm doing because usually I need to be really close up and I realize I have another mirror with me for my older eyes and I'll dip back into that first light whitish color and just clean up as I go so now what I'm going to do I'm going to use a really skinny angled brush and I'm going to go into that darker color and just go along um, I'm just going to go along part of the crease and then along the outside kind of making a V sort of And it takes some back and forth. This is why I think this is a good thing to use for people who are just starting out with eyeshadow. It'd be a fun set of palettes. And then the other thing I didn't do, which I usually do right after eyeliner, I take this little tiny brush and um I will dip it into that darker color again, and I'm just going to go along the edges of where that black coal pencil was, just so it doesn't, when I open my eyes, I don't want that liner to be touching, and this softens that line a bit. I'm also going to take some of it along some of the outer under eye here. Not all the way across, but part of the way. Now even these um, even these pinks here are they come off as kind of white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this pink one 
and a brush this size and go over my mobile lid with it. It's got some, it's got just a little bit of shimmer. Well, maybe a lot. And I'm going to brush off the excess and blend it. And then just for fun, I'm going to use this plum shade with another small brush. And I'm just going to tap it just on the outer mobile lid. So this being my mobile lid and just on the outer part. And you can see, again, it's not it's not super pigmented like, you know, I keep expecting it to be like um, chocolate bar from Too Faced and it's not. Oh, there we go. I just picked up a whole bunch of product, but I'm going to try to tap it in somewhat to get it to stay, <laughs> but it, it's not intense. So it gives me some of that color and I need to brush away because I have some. Now I'm going to correct with the whitish cream again below the brow. And then I'm going to brush that away. Yeah, it's really, really light. So I don't have this real glamorous look going. I can even go with that dark color just a little bit more into the crease. And then just for fun, going back to the one Ola, Ola Rio, there's some um, light gold right here. So I'm just gonna take one more little brush and I'm just going to tap it into the center just for a little interest. The center of the mobile eye. This is a good look. I'm going to put on some mascara and I'll be right back. I have worn these before and they do last all day. They also tend to have quite a bit of fallout. So you wanna keep a brush with you to brush that extra off, a clean brush, to brush the extra off that falls on your face. I don't really mind it. You know, like I said, they're only $10 and um, they, just have several palettes. I have these linked in the description box below. So check them out. And they also have other palettes as well. Check out one of my other videos by clicking its image on the right side of your screen. And I'll see you in the next video.